Hello, you beautiful gods and goddesses. Coco here. So, the energy that I'm feeling today for you earth signs, this message is specifically for the earth signs, um, not um, just for the earth signs, but my intention was for relaying messages to earth signs. Um, the energy that I'm getting today seems... It's, it feels different. I'm, I'm going to just say that. It feels different, to say the least. It's like an energy of something new in the atmosphere, something transforming, something transitioning. But I'm, I'm definitely getting the energy of newness. Um, let me see. I'm trying to get it in the camera so you can see it. It's being active. But, um, I don't know. It feels, I'm going to just say it feels different. And then I'm, I'm, I'm doing things differently for this reading that I haven't done for the other signs. So it's like, yeah, some, some, something's different. We're going to get into it. But first, we're going to smudge the space. We have the cinnamon, of course. And we also have the, the chamomile stem. And chamomile, so the message for the chamomile that came up for you guys then have, um, it's different as well. <laughs> so it says chamomile was associated with, in Egypt, it was associated with gods of the sun. It was like uh, one of the herbs that they used as an offering to the sun gods and in in ancient greek they called chamomile the ground apple and what i got from that is um it's good for getting knowledge while you're grounding like while you're connecting to the earth connecting to source connecting to the universe um having chamomile around you or having it burning or just a chamomile scent an oil or something it'll be good for helping you to bring in that knowledge um, I'm also seeing someone sitting out in the Sun you know with chamomile like um, <laughs> I'm seeing the plant actually the chamomile plant someone sitting out with the chamomile plant in the Sun in like the middle of a field so that may be a good idea for you. you. I'm also getting the energy that you need to ground. And I'm getting a headache. I don't, I don't, that's odd. What y'all got going on, Earth Signs? <laughs> Let me get it together. My beautiful Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns out there. Like, what, what's really going on with y'all? Let's get this going we got this smudge going let me put a little more chamomile on there because <laughs> you know chamomile is also good for calming calming energy it's good as a, for a sleep aid you want to put it in your tea okay so we have the solar plexus oh we have the solar plexus healing bowl um the solar plexus is all about that personal will that divine will that you have within um helping remove the blockage of that or any area you feel the blockage in just allow this singing bowl to cleanse you to clear all of the blockages to just allow flow of your energy without interruption so breathe into this moment. Go ahead and adjust your volume. Pay attention to where you are tensing up in your body. Relax. Breathe into it. Let's do one more together. It's 
So I'm feeling tension in my shoulders, in the back of my head, in my neck. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like you're taking on too much earthly energy. And what I mean by that, you worry too much about different things that, you know, it, worrying does not solve problems. You know, worrying does not give you solutions. Worrying just adds to the problems. It adds to the stress. So I know it's easier said than done in the beginning to, to say just, you know, stop stressing, but stop stressing. Take some breaths, you know, relax sometimes. You know, take a chill pill, I just heard. Okay, so adjust your volume. Be present. that you took time to allow in that cleanse um, I am putting some more chamomile stems on here um, what I have in the diffuser is sage water again sage is good for protection and clearing the energy um, giving their give, giving the energy a clean slate basically that's what sage does um, and then I have vanilla ascension, essential oil, ascension, okay, essential oil. And vanilla is a fragrance of calmness and nostalgia. It's about connecting with the past self. It's like, there feels like there's an energy of needing to um, connect with. I just heard heal the inner child. Or whatever that means for you uh, I just got like I don't want to say a head rush but it was like a, a dizzy feeling I guess I don't know let me just find out let's see what's going, <laughs> what's going on with y'all because the energy from the earth signs has been completely different than what I have been experiencing for the other signs all those all of the energy has been different in its own way it has it has felt um there's there's been this sense of like comfortability or or commonality as well but the earth signs just feels different it's like the whole energy feels different like even even in my day like i have a, a routine basically that i go by it's not like etched in stone but for the most part i have a routine and it went completely different today like nothing in my day was as it usually is it feels like a um an energy of newness like like a new level and it's like i don't know it just feels new so the very first message that i got wasn't a message per se yet it, it, it grew into a message but the first thing was an image and it was the, an image of the um of a, of a triangle but the word that came up wasn't triangle it was pyramid um so 
I was like, pyramid? And then I heard foundation. Foundation is in quotation marks. So foundation, I'm like, pyramid foundation? And then it, it brought me to, uh, where is it? My uh, pyramid. So I guess that's what this is called, or that's what I'm, at least what I'm going to call it. A foundation pyramid where um, you you get two out of these three things you know we can't have it all in this world everybody knows that but you can get most of it. you can have most of it so it's like if you want things good and easy it won't come fast if you want things good and fast it won't come easy but if you want things easy and fast it just it won't be good it, it just won't it's like there's a, a, a divine law that, you know, you, you we want to have it all. Of course, we want to experience life in its fullest, which we can. But there's always going to be something that we need to work on or that we need to adjust is basically what I'm trying to say. So <clears throat> it says something you're trying to build or create needs a practical plan um, well thought out is what I heard that was in quotations and also what was in quotations was plan plot strategize so that feels like an energy of trying to m make something happen basically so it says start with the finished product and then work out a rough draft of how to get there from where you are it's like, uh, who, who did I get that message for? I got it earlier in this week. It was either for the fire signs or the water signs, but I'm not sure. But it was the energy of working backwards, like starting at the end and then working your way back to where you are now in order to get a broader picture or a better picture. And I'm also hearing in order to keep moving. You may be in the state sometimes where you, you want to get something accomplished, but you, you want it to look perfect or you want it to be perfect or you have this ideal of how it's supposed to look that you don't move forward. And you, you know, so start at the end, basically, to, to get out of that stuck phase, start at the end and work your way back. I, I, I also just heard that, say you want to start a business and you don't you don't really know it's like basically just start the business you you don't you don't have your llc you don't have your ein number you, you like just start anyway just go ahead and advertise yourself go ahead and get yourself out there and as the business comes in and you know you start getting into the groove of things then get into getting the llc and things like that like this is not business advice this is spiritual advice so use your discernment do what feels right for you but that's just the message that i'm getting <sighs> put some more chamomile on there let's just let's just put all the chamomile on there now well i put most of it on there okay so the the next message that i got kind of threw me for a loop i'm like huh and it was like you know that song by robin thick blurred lines so i heard blurred lines but then i heard do the jerk baby do the i don't know all the words to that song but that's a, a real old school song so it was like I, I got the energy of either being disoriented not knowing <laughs> what the fuck to do where what next step to take but i also got a message of doing things out of order just like okay just like that message that um earlier of start at the end and work your way back uh well start at the end goal and work your way back what now i'm hearing work your way forward hmm it's like you're starting at the end and you see where my hand is this is the beginning this is the end but when i heard it it was like work your way forward okay so working backwards will help you work your way forward that that's i guess that's what spirit is trying to say or that's <laughs> how it's coming through to me um it says to mix new ideas with old ideas to create a solid plan so that may also be 
why what working backwards means like use some of that stuff some some of what you worked on in the past incorporate it into the present um so i got where am i stay focused don't get discouraged and then it says remember the bigger picture so the next thing that i heard was airport and airplane so I heard go by an airport to meditate or to manifest. Seeing an airport, seeing an air, going to an airport will guarantee you seeing airplanes, and seeing airplanes will help you to um, trigger some sort of action or or some sort of message. Is is seeing airplanes is going to trigger something for you basically, um, and then it says something about a trip. For business or pleasure that's what I was getting from airplane as well and they said be secure in your energy your truth your talent and your gifts <laughs> I was seeing a lot of red when that message was coming through and red is associated with the root chakra and the root chakra that's the that's at the base of the, of the spine it's like right there you know in your nether regions it's like um where you where your stability lies where you feel comfortable in your own skin comfortable where you are in life you know um and it says you were chosen for a purpose so the message that i got from that oh that was in quotations by the way um and if you don't know when i get a message in quotations that's a direct message from spirit those are the specific words that they wanted me to use you know for you um and what i got from you are chosen for a purpose is don't doubt where you are and where you're going don't second guess don't let that um ego um what is it called when when you when, when your ego is like i i knew the word and it just it went away but but don't 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 battle with your ego about if you deserve to be here or if you deserve to get what's coming forward to you or not because you deserve it you were chosen for it it came to you because it's meant for you like nothing is by chance nothing is by coincidence and nothing happens on accident um so it says notice the little things small victories add up to huge success so there is a um a sigil that came to mind after i heard that and of course small victories notice the little things and small victories add up to huge success was in quotations but so was this sigil um let me get something to write it on this is a sigil that <laughs> i saw it on i think it was on tiktok that's what came up it's like dollar signs and coin the cents you know to and it's supposed to basically read success so that came up it's like um either you practice magic and that's something that you tried or something that you should try or it's just a, um, a visual representation of you know money coming in for you like success in business it's, it's it feels like again like that energy of traveling for business taking a trip for business or even if it's like even if you're not taking like a physical trip like you're you're going out and you're doing things for your business promoting it or you know just getting things done for your business and um a message came up again about birds and flight I said about birds. I didn't mention birds before, but I meant just the, the energy of flight of birds. It's like airplanes give bird energy, of course, because they both fly in the sky. Um, and then some spirit messages that I got also are numbers of 222, two, two, the angel numbers 222, two, two, and 88. Eight. So you may want to do some research on those angel numbers um twos are representative of the high priestess the high priestess is this energy about 
um, basically go, being being this spiritual this spiritual force but if you if it's not spiritual it's just all knowing you know you you know everything within yourself you have everything that you need but you aren't like um what is the message it's like i'm getting this energy of uncertainty that's the energy that i'm getting and it's not that I feel uncertain because, you know, I, I don't. <laughs> it's like, but that's the energy that I'm getting and it's coming through heavily. So it's like a affecting the messages that I'm getting. Or maybe that is the message. The, the message is basically, don't be uncertain. Be sure of yourself. You know, just, just go for what you know, basically. Um, let's get back to it. So... The next message says one thing at a time or one day at a time try not to try to not allow in the energy of overwhelm so i'm getting the energy of you know taking a step back if you feel overwhelmed by something or even before you get overwhelmed just you know relax just be present be in the moment don't think ahead don't don't think too far ahead you know like i always say it's good to plan but don't base your life on what you have planned and don't just just always just i have to stick to this plan if i don't stick to this plan then everything falls apart no that's not true because sometimes it takes deviating from a plan in order to get where you want to be or where you need to be um it says practice gentleness with the self and practice patience so it's the, again it's that energy of just relaxing i guess that's why i have this candle like it's not just about the candle which you need to practice some self-love and yes i'm telling you need i usually you know do a disclaimer on that word need but we need self-love and self-care in our lives like on a regular basis and with how life is sometimes it's difficult to keep up with that routine but you know self-love but i'm getting this word the word namaste and namaste is it's um it's a phrase that that's used to show love or to just show respect for something or someone but it's also namaste is just like it embodies an energy of calmness of peace you know so it says to connect with nature go outside and drink water and then i got oranges something about oranges may be significant to you maybe you need some vitamin c i heard vitamin d and then okay so that message both of those messages came out where it was like yes the actual vitamins minerals and things like that but then i also got the energy of something sexual i don't know that was new it didn't come out in my channel messages but it's coming out now because it was like vitamin c and vitamin d okay but anyway <laughs> so it says get sunlight as well um yeah that's all for the channel messages i feel like y'all really need to relax because it's it's that's not your energy first of all like you feel like you may be empathic and you pick up on a lot of other people's bull crap you may try to take on people's energy you may feel like that's you know that is your responsibility to make sure people are good but it's not it's each individual's and it's each individual's responsibility for their own, you know, how they feel, you know, what they got going on. Let's see. Let's see what kind of energy. Let's see what messages we have in this deck, basically. Oh, yeah. I want I just gotta show y'all. 
This is, these are the first two. Woman holding the coin and journey. And then the third one is man holding the coin. And what that feels like to me is travel. It feels like traveling. It feels like business travel. It feels like spiritual travel. Like I'm getting a sense of gaining new spiritual assistance to help you with this next level that you're on. I'm getting that energy. I'm getting um, a divine union as far as a relationship or a business connection, but also within the self with gaining balance within the self. Ascension. Growth. And just... It, it feels like an energy of money being magnetized to someone. Money journeying to someone. Like there, there's some money coming in for you. I feel an energy of money coming in to, to someone. But I also, of course, feel an energy of money going out. But I don't feel negative about the money going out. It doesn't feel like you're paying something but you're upset about it it feels like so so the message i i'm getting is that someone viewing this is going to be assisting someone else they're going to be sending money to somebody else to do something or to get somewhere like uh some some sort of assistance Some, and some more messages with this because okay so this card that came out says attachment and you see it's like in the dark it's like an energy of, of being attached to, to I'm hearing negativity and darkness but I also I'm, it's like maybe it's attaching to you or something is trying to attach to you to stop this connection or slow down this connection I just heard somebody that you didn't choose or something that you didn't choose. I don't know. I'm also hearing that some some issues or some circumstances that you went through in your past are causing you to have like this. It's, it's making you think in a way that is not helpful to where you're trying to go or where it's like putting doubt in your mind basically it's it's good to think on the past you know learning the lessons and remembering the lessons but don't dwell in the past don't pull the past into your present i mean even if something looks like what it did in the past it's not that it's not it's not that at all i mean you have grown you have evolved like this reading is a positive reading but it feels like there's a shadow of something there's like something in the background that you aren't dealing with or haven't deal dealt with that it's like an energy of having to let go of something or healing from something I also just heard that your healing from something is what's bringing in this connection, this this abundance. This this I'm, I heard money, but it's it's more of abundance because it's not just money. That's just what the the one of the main energies is is money. But we know money is associated with abundance, so there's there's abundance that's coming forward for you, and it's like a, a payment of all that you withstood. Is that a word? My spirit <laughs> withstood. I don't withstand is a word. Is withstood a word? All that you have, like you have been a stronghold, is what I'm. That that's the image that I'm getting. Like I keep seeing this image of like a a, a log 
in the water and it's like the water everything is like moving around it but that log is just it's there that joint is planted it's not here go the log and everything around it is like it's not even moving it's not budging it's like that log like i'm look i'm here and i'm representing you know whatever comes whatever is thrown at me i can handle it i can withstand it that's the energy that i'm getting Okay, Earth signs, you got this. Don't let that self-doubt creep into your mind. I just heard that's a dream killer. Self-doubt is a dream killer. Even if you allow people to put, you know, that doubt in your mind, that's a dream killer. Don't let anyone or anything kill your dream. your energy feels it feels like it's if it, it's like on the surface it feels like it's wonky like it's messed up but like for real though there's it's like goodness it's like positivity you just gotta get past all this earthly these earthly things you have to get past that and realize that that's not what's important i mean you know you know what i'm trying to say i know that things are important but it's like choosing to be happy is it's that's the main goal is choosing to be happy happiness is a choice it's not just an emotion it's a choice and once you choose it it chooses you it's like like a magnet Let's see. What are the messages? Okay. We have work through your fears. Expect powerful change. And confidence is your key to success. There go that word success. Success, and then my little sticky note. Success. It's like you—you you are successful. It's our success is already yours. You just have to claim it. You just have to believe it and have faith in it. Have faith in yourself. Don't be scared. I, I'm getting the energy. Like some some of this message is someone is afraid to make a powerful change or someone someone is afraid to make this big change but i'm also getting an energy of when you make this change there is going to be an energy that is so is it's it's so different than what you have felt before and it's so strong it's going to try to cause fear within you but be strong be confident that you earned this position okay you earned it You earned it spiritually, you earned it physically. Your hard work is paying off. See, you, you earned it. If you feel kind of any type of negative feeling whatsoever, it's it's an illusion. Prosperity lies ahead. Look, I don't even I don't need no more cards at this deck. <laughs> I'm getting an energy of connecting with the heart chakra, connecting with the solar plexus. Uh, I wouldn't even point the solar plexus over here, but I guess that's a main energy as well. Connecting with the solar plexus, connecting with the crown chakra and the, in the um, third eye chakra. So there's, there feels like an energy of needing to do like a full chakra cleanse. Um, you can you search on YouTube. I have some in my on my YouTube channel. You can look for you can check out but getting a full chakra cleanse you can even just do it yourself just with the intention of just go out in nature with the intention of clearing your chakras allowing energy to flow through you without any obstacles okay let's get some spirit messages we're going to do the oracle or we're going to do the spirit messages. 
we're gonna do next. Just, and then we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do next. I was gonna say, but I don't know. So, let's, let's read messages for the earth signs to assist them on their healing journey, on their spiritual journey, on their financial journey, business, whatever they need. I'm hearing this song. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. I don't know where that's coming from. Okay, that's a lot of messages. So I'm just going to read them. If something come up, it come up. If it don't, it just don't. Okay, so it says, be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Ancestral Wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this point in time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. I'm getting the message of um, th there is some assistance that is trying to come in for you. You just need to accept it just you know either verbally or just in, w mentally just say i accept the divine assistance that is trying to come forward to me dream talk your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams it's just one of those many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs symbols messages and more see there there's some messages trying to get through to you that may be some of the reason why you're feeling cloudy. This it's like a download coming in. You just you know just just be in the moment, be present, and just work through it. And, and you know you'll come out on the other side. Okay, so we have strength. There we go, strength again. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, there's confidence again, conviction in a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. Gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. And we have study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. See, learning old th things in a new way, bringing the old into the new. Okay, they said one more. Breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. Take time to breathe, you know. Breathing and being present will get you far on your journey. It really will. So we're going to get some affirmations. Are we doing affirmations? Because I, I keep I, I keep looking at this deck, but I, I picked up the affirmations. Okay. We weren't even that deck. Manifestation. 
So let's see what you're manifesting. What are you what are you actually manifesting? What's actually headed in your direction? What are you okay? This one bent. <laughs> what are you manifesting? That one is goddess energy. Healing feminine energy. You're manifesting healing. You're manifesting this energy of internal healing, healing the self. Because, you know, the goddess energy is the energy of, you know, what you can't see. The things that you can't see, that internal side of things. And you're healing that. You're healing that which you cannot see. What else are you manifesting? Earth. <laughs> the earth signs manifest in the earth. Ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. See, it's like it, it, things are not what they look like. If you are going through something at this moment or if you just feel like off, it's, it's that's not what it is. It's like there's a barrier that you're about to break through. And it's like, I'm getting that image of, you know, when somebody goes through the finish line and they break through the ribbon and then it just cut to, as soon as I saw that, it cut to like when the football players are coming out at the home, at the, um, the home game and they bust through that big banner that I'm getting that. It's like, it, it looks like one thing, but it, it's, it's cloudy, but it's not bad cloudy. You know, it, it's, it's something good right there on the other side. So ground yourself. One more. Is that the one more? That's not one, that's three. <laughs> Fairy magic. Respectfully work with the fairies and elementals to achieve your goal. It's like, if you need help, ask spirit, ask the universe, ask source for the help you know to, to get through what you need to get through to help with what you to help you with what you need help with triple moon embracing all aspects of yourself the divine and the earthly abracadabra with wings fantastic good fortune and lucky chances you're man this is the stuff that you're manifesting this is the stuff that's coming forward to you like your, your divine assistance, balance, stability, good fortune, luck, healing. You're manifesting all of this stuff. So if something is coming up, don't, I'm not saying, you know, don't handle it or whatever, but don't allow a moment to erase all the work that you've done. Just keep keep going and keep moving forward and break past that. You are healing is what I just heard. You will win. Now I'm hearing uh, this in this child. <laughs> I'm a survivor, so. Come on, Earth sign. You right there. Don't give up now. You don't turn back now. Just keep going. Keep believing in yourself. Keep planning. You know, take some time to be spontaneous. Sometimes, you know, give yourself some self-love, some self-care. I am love. These are your affirmations, by the way. receive love I am perfectly balanced I am an intuitive inaccurate energy reader okay I got a, a separate message from that yes it's, it's the message I am intuitive and accurate energy reader but also if you read tarot 
or if even if if you do some any type of spiritual work, you, you're right. I heard nine times out of ten, but it's, you, you're right, and I feel like you're only right nine times out of the ten because you doubt yourself one of those times. It's like you you let things flow, and then like there'll be like something that comes up, whatever it is, I, I don't know specifically, but something will come up and it'll make you doubt yourself that one time. But once you get rid of that, I am perfectly balanced. Okay, I have, I am a healer who heals myself and others with love. I am infinite. I give love. I release all things that are negative. Ooh, that's a good one. There is power within me. I have financial abundance. Whew, child. Let me let me get you the rest of this segment. And I just I feel like like <laughs> I ain't saying that if you're feeling something negative, I'm not saying that it's for nothing, but it, it's just not what you think that it is. I am a conqueror. Okay? I am a conqueror. Even if you even if something does happen you will get through it you will get past it okay so that's the rest of the cinnamon let's put the rest of the chamomile on there because it's y'all's it's for you that's why i'm trying to go on it put it on there before i close out but i i, I pray that this reading was helpful to you. I pray that this the advice within this reading will will assist you and guide you and help you to be present. Excuse me and thank you. Um I just want to say thank you. I want to thank you for show, showing up for me, but showing up for yourself, you know. I know these readings get a little lengthy, but there are messages for you. There's healing in these messages. And I, I thank you for showing up for yourself. And um, I just want to say thank you for being present on my channel, for subscribing, for like, liking, sharing, commenting, you know, however you, the donations that you guys send in, however you assist me however you pour love into me i thank you for that and i thank you for the love and the assistance that you pour into yourself because we have to do this as a collective we have to do this together where we're each one reach one each one teach one you know healing thyself will start a domino effect to heal others and that's my goal to to heal heal others as I heal myself and to teach others to heal themselves as I'm learning to heal myself so I pray that all is well I thank you again and I send you all love and light namaste I will be one of the greatest that is a vow yeah that is a promise always wanted to be famous